has to do with how governance works. Um, and you know, in the pre-internet age, of course, government governance worked pretty well at the nation state level. Um, you know, and, and the ideal model is, of course, you elect your government, and then uh, if if you don't like what the government's doing, you you uh, uh, kick it out of office. You elect somebody else. The government regulates companies in the public interest, and there's a, a political process that basically works. Um, but we have a lot of cross-cutting sovereignties now that don't match up so well with kind of the, the nation state political processes and sort of the geopolitical frameworks that everybody's used to. Um, you have situations where that we've seen uh, just uh, in, in the past few years where you know Congress can pass a law that uh, regulates internet companies. Um, say this might have happened with SOPA, for, for instance, um, Congress representing the American people and American, certain American corporate interests uh, sought to pass a law related to copyright enforcement on the internet. This would have affected internet users absolutely everywhere on earth who of course have no way of holding Congress accountable particularly and the Congress doesn't represent them. Uh, and so what do you do about that? Um, European privacy regulations, uh, privacy laws, is, is increasingly shaping the internet experience of internet users all over the world, um, which is also very, very interesting. You know, so you have laws being passed in specific jurisdictions that have global reach far beyond their actual political constituencies. 